No, this can't be. What have they done? Well, well. I was not expecting you back so soon, Lady Trathen. You wretch. Ray, this is the same man who attacked us in Rythal after Elena came down. You're right! No mistake in that horn and pale skin! He was an Imperial officer. Well, if it isn't the peons who are looking into meteorites and Helgar's disease in Rythal. My apologies for not introducing myself before. I am called Gaston Gauthier. Do my eyes deceive me? Or is that a Duma with you? <gasps> Who are you, really? If you recognize Duma, then you must not be from this planet. I could certainly ask you the same. Or ask why you're staring at me so bitterly, for that matter. Are we not allies? You have a Duma with you, after all. I would never dream of allying myself with one who would commit such atrocities. Nor will we waste any more words on a general of the Vale Empire. You will not. Lay another finger on the Trathen people. As you wish. Just don't expect me to hold back. I will not go as easy on you as I did at our first meeting. Do your worst. Detecting unforeseen possible threat. Secure the perimeter. We shall warn you. And we will destroy. pretty cool. Except one, energy levels flow. Please! Take up! Cut that to the invasion will cost you dearly, General. Brave words, Lady Trouble. But I'm not sure that's what you're trying to do. You're not supporting my companion. This seems to have a power like yours. I doubt you're actually free. Having a Duma around isn't doing me any favors. Still your tongue, lest you desire another trouncing. Thank you. I think I'd rather call it a day. See you again, Duma. And here's hoping we all have a more worthwhile chat next time. No doubt about it. He's just like the guy we met when repairing Elena and the woman on Mount Cotterant. They're humanoids from a developed planet. And this Gaston? He isn't shy about using their technology here either. In any case, we have repelled their offensive. I doubt they will return anytime soon. Raymond, Princess Leticia, you have my gratitude. You've become strong in your own right, boy. 
I appreciate your words. However, I seem to grow weary. Let us get you some well-deserved rest. I would welcome you all back into my home. Sounds good to me. He knew about Duma. Who the hell is he? Ray. Uh, yeah, sorry. It's nothing. Be sure to Let's hurry to Malkia's room. First. You by any chance from another continent? Thanks! Care to take a rest? Sleep tight. I must say, you set a very fine table. I hope you slept. Love this place. Now. Before we begin mining for Levitas Ore, there is one thing I would ask. Something else? I thought we already chased off the Empire. This is serious. It takes significant strength to excavate the ore, but many of the villagers are wounded. We are not in the best shape ourselves. Especially you, boy. Huh? These 14 long years must have been difficult. The creaking of my old osseous core due to our close proximity must not be helping matters. Uh, no, I am fine. Do not hold in the pain any longer. There is no need. What? Midas and I have discussed it. I will bestow upon you a new osseous core. A renewed arm should allow you to resume your duties. Oh, Elbaird! Uh, are... Are... Are you certain? Consider it a fitting reward for a hero who saved my people. Midas also keeps bringing up that if we do not repair your arm, he would be at the whim of the royal family forevermore. <sighs> Oh, that's great, Albert. Now you can go on being a knight? I, I, I can hardly believe it. Thank you. Thank you. The implantation procedure should only take one night. Let us all rest in anticipation of our journey for the Levitas Ore come the morrow. Continue my knightly duties. I can still fight. They're essentially extending your lifespan. You speak true. Now I can repay Her Highness for all the worry I've caused her. Leticia's not here, by the way. Where'd she get to? I do not doubt there is much running through her mind. If. If Her Highness should speak to you, I beg you, heed her words. Hey, what's this all of a sudden? You've been acting weird lately. Her Highness holds trust in you. Despite this trust, there were matters she could not share. Perhaps now, such conversation is possible. Yeah, I got it. And if I don't do as you say, you'd probably end up a pain in my ass anyways. 
Shall we begin the procedure? Yes, my lady. All right. I'd better find Leticia. Where the hell is Leticia? Did she go outside somewhere? Leticia! Hey. Ray. I hope Albert's arm gets patched up all right. I am certain it will. Ahem. Uh, Ray. Yeah? If I may, let me share a story from my past. Albert lost his left arm 14 years ago. Back then, I used to drag Albert and cousin Theo around, causing them much annoyance. That day was just like any other. I was playing in an isolated area of the castle, a place I fancied my own secret bastion. It was then an unfortunate accident befell me. The decrepit castle walls, long since fallen into disrepair, came falling from above. Yet I was unharmed. The one who shielded me. It was Maester Midas and Lady Malkia who saved Albert's life. But their actions served as the catalyst for the three wise men's exile from the kingdom. Some decried the transplanting of limbs between species as a vile, evil, unforgivable act. Maester Midas suffered much, but so too did Maesters Marcus, Filberto, and Lady Malkia. They were all brought before the court to answer for their blasphemous deed. And it was my lord uncle who spearheaded their persecution. The decisive act that sealed their fate was when father acquiesced to the claims. Father had no choice but to submit to my lord uncle's power, given his relation to the late Empress of Vale. Maester Midas was spared the mark of treason, but ultimately banished. Lady Malkia's studies at the Semiomancy Consortium were ended, our relations with Nilbeth severed, and Maester Marcus and Filberto followed Maester Midas into the hinterlands. No wonder Midas gets so heated. Actually, I'm kind of surprised you even thought of asking Midas for help. I inquired Director Melthia about the Fulga. With it, I knew I could protect the kingdom. I beseeched Albert for his help, asked Cousin Theo to assist with arrangements. And then, Ray, I met you. Nah, I haven't done a thing. After we met, I began to think that everything will be fine. That things will work out. I have never been so excited for the days to come. Thank you for listening to my overlong story. Shall we head back? Thank you for lending. Oh!
wonder how Albert is holding up. Let's take a peek inside the operating room. Seems the procedure may still take some time. You had best rest while you can. Off to bed then.